Do you two know why I called you here? Not really. Well I was made aware of camera footage showing two students in red and blue spraying the sentence, Trip Gang Rules and Allen Drools, at the back of the building. Huh, strange. To assure you we had nothing to do with spraying that, same here. I see, but did the vandalizers have light brown hair? And, oh I don't know, blue eyes per se? Maybe not, maybe so, maybe your wife's a hoe, <laughs> but who knows. Oh for shit's sake cut it out, it's obvious that you two were behind that vandalism. Yeah so? What are you gonna do about it? Oh, let me see, maybe expulsion from this school? You're kidding, right? Guess not, I can't even believe you're dead set on that for something as simple as promoting a friend group of ours. Well vandalizing the building to promote a group of yours that is mostly about spreading bigotry should set off many red flags. Not gonna debate that, but at least our leader actually has functioning brains than your favorite student, Sage. Speaking of that tall shit, why the hell haven't you done anything about what went on last April? He and his friends are almost, if not crazier than what you allege Trip to be. Yep, except four times as bad. If so, then did such an event happen on school grounds? Yes. Wait, actually I don't know. That's what I thought. That's not answering anything on how you feel about what Sage and friends did to Trip. Pixar it didn't happen, end of discussion. Whatever. Before I let you two go, I ask of you two things. And that is? Clean up that graffiti before you leave this school today, but also, let Trip and your gang know that if any, and I mean, any of them slip up, all of you are out of here. Fucking Christ that's too far. I don't want to hear it. If no one can get peace from you people, then drastic actions will have to be made. Do I make myself clear? Yes, yes sir. Good. You're free to leave. Something about this year just feels off. Bye. Why do I feel most of us are having a harder time getting through this shithole of a school? It depends, really, as I don't mind whatever's taught here. But when it comes to, well, certain folks, then I can agree that it does affect how I feel about school. Tell me about it. Since this September, Sage and Co have been stalking us specifically like no tomorrow. Bothing, and out of school. Like fucking Christ, leave us alone. Yo, fuckers, we've got some news. What's the scoop? Alan's pissed off at us. And why is that? Simply promoting Trip's group via graffiti was enough for Alan to threaten expulsion. At least he didn't suspend you, unlike other students here who aren't us. There is a catch though. And that is? Quoting Alan, if any one of us slip up, we're all out of this school. So you're telling us he's going to chuck all 14 of us under the bus if any of us fuck up? As frustrating as this sounds, he's not bluffing. Lovely. I'm gonna have to head out to inform Trip and the rest about this stupid development. Catch you fucks later. You guys think there's another way out of this? At this rate, no, not with our educations on the line. Unless, well, we confront the tall green himself. Can you not cut me off? I was saving you time, sheesh. Whatever, I won't say shit. Well if we're really doing this, should we confront Sage as a full group, or? Probably too risky. I think it's better if just one of us takes the charge. Just as long as none of us pussy out. What's this all about? Oh wow, an actual pussy. Yeah yeah very funny. That aside, I came here as I heard something about a potential confrontation. Well you've come at a perfect time Samantha. We're at the midst of figuring out who should confront Sage. Yeah, it's our only shot in avoiding a mass expulsion. It's looking like I will do the talking. But the problem here is that I haven't actually met Sage before. Then I'll do it. Seriously? I mean, I've known Sage the most compared to you folks, so may as well give it a shot. I don't know Samantha, I think if you do, I should come with, just in case. No need to worry Osiris, given I haven't directly insulted Sage before, I'm confident things'll go fine. Alright, wish me luck everyone. Looks like someone's in love. Don't. Sage, I know it's been a year, but going after Trip again over an alleged attempt to assault a trans person from another school? There's literally zero point in doing that. Ruby, it's fucking Trip. It's clear he has not learned anything at all. So we may as well remind him that hell is always looming over him. In that case, just leave him be. Or better yet, 
have the authorities take care of him. I, nor your brother, or heck, really any of us, do not need to be involved in performing quote-unquote revenge sessions towards Trip and his friends, even if it's poor stuff that we were not even affected by. As much as I love my dad, he and the cops aren't gonna do shit. We built this crew on strength and friendship. So let's continue strong and not let that bigoted fuck and his friends run this school further downhill. Fine. Have things your way. I do not want any part in it anymore. Seriously? Leaving the crew is just gonna put you in riskier waters, Ruby. Well, I am no longer okay being affiliated with a fucking psychopath. So I will be absolutely fine without you. You're gonna regret all of this, Ruby. What's going on? Whatever you have in mind, go ahead. There's no point in trying to change this man's mind. Oh God, what do you want, Samantha? Well, I'd like to know something, Sage. Why do you consider quote-unquote revenge sessions as a means of justice? Simple. It's because folks like Trip, and likely you to an extent, target us first. I see, but why did you think that assaulting anyone would somehow help the situation? Well, up. You know something? You may have the mindset that you're allowed to just assault, harass, and abuse people who do so much as lightly roast you. Just because of how popular you are in this school, right? Uh, well. Yeah, I'm, uh, definitely a popular guy. But what about once you turn 18, once you move out and get a job in the real world? And once everything stops being served to you on a silver platter, you'll find out that it's all about doing things yourself than having to rely on others. Sage, you may think today, that you can just be a jerk and harm people, but once you're out there, you'll find out that your actions have consequences. And I mean, huge, consequences, at that Sage, how do you think your family would feel if they knew you? along with your gang of self-centered nobodies assaulted people regularly, and to add insult to injury, they would find you, behind bars because of it. How would that make you feel? Huh? No response? I. I. Up? Uh? I thought not. Well that was something? Damn right it was. I'm, uh, impressed? At least she knocked some sense into him. Hopefully you'll take it well.